Yeah, people. Welcome back to the board grand show. And today, see, I look at the topic there. Pretty interesting. And it's a talk about a year plane cleaner who became a pilot after 24 years of hard work. And guess what? You find courage in that. You find strength in that. You find determination in that. I don't know who you pick. But I then they may pick on more and more on the positive side. That's what I say. Because I know a whole heap of people out there they feel this courage. You know, you do a particular job for a couple of years well and you want to leave it. You know, domestic job. And you say, boy, a full time now. You step up in a life and thing and thing. But if you're Read the story, but me just tell you the topic for you. Don't realize uh, it's uh, after 24 years of hard work. So, you know, must be 24 years here. It can be 15 years, it can be 30 years, it can be 10 years, it can be 5 years, it can be 4 years. You name it, that depends on you. But the main thing we look upon is that the person eventually make it. The person eventually make it. So somehow we write off yourself. It's not good for do that. It's not good for do that. Keep on doing what you're doing, man. Fight the good fight of faith. You know? You can't just get up and say, yo, you want this and you're going to achieve it and you're not put in the work. Because if you remember it, remember this. I guess all the Jamaicans, if not all Jamaicans, you know, say this, you know? primary school go right to high school maybe all from basic school the heights by great men reach and kept were not attained by sudden flight but meanwhile well whether flight or, or plight but one of them there I think a flight though but meanwhile your companion slept and were upward tiling through the night yes what I say so when we look man that them on the story me I say I some whole heap of years of preparation as a whole heap of years of preparation if you get the funds you may have to do some hard work maybe all extra work who knows maybe you may have a side hustle you have some sleepless nights I burn the midnight lamp but somehow we just want just want to just get up and, and, and jump in achievement no it ain't no work like that you have to have times when you have got stay up, sleepless nights, and all who go to St. Joseph Teachers College, them can attest to that. Yo, big up yourself, St. Joseph Teachers College. All, all students, past students, present students. Yes, I mean, the Alumni Association, everybody who goes to St. Joseph Teachers College can testify to that. When we talk about sleepless nights, I mean, Morning time when you see we as zombies, as zombies, people are red like them about the weed. Cause we have to put in it, put in the work. If you achieve a goal at the end of the day, we have to put in the work. Who go St. Joseph Teachers College can testify. But when we talk about pressure, when it commands the pressure, 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 pressure. Pressure are the fittest of the fittest survivors in Joseph Teachers College. You could ask me a stray away from the point, but it ties in. Are the fittest of the fittest survivors in Joseph Teachers College. So that comes back to the same point where I said the heights by a great men reach and kept were not attained by sudden flight. But meanwhile, their companions slept. They were up white tiling through the night. So them, that man they not put in the work. That man I put in the work. When everybody else go to bed down, the whole family bed down, he might put in the work because what? he want to achieve him goal. He have a aim. He have a aim. He know what he want to achieve. You see what I say? So when I'm when, when dead, I call it dopey. Because all the power one family members, them, are them first right we have. We, we sometimes are our own. Our own don't fall. We, we sometimes are our own enemies. Our own enemy. 
we some time write off ourselves too. And that should never happen. Sometimes people, how much people they're intimidated by you and you not even know it. Because them see as this brilliant person and everything. But sometimes I not really and really that you're brilliant. Is that you put in the work. And them to can achieve it if them put in the work. But some people just sit back, laid back, and just expect it for you. Then you have these family members now. Where we're, we're, we're right here off because nothing happened to you. No, I'm for you. You left high school without CXEs. And they're right here. After you're done. For. Nothing not go come out. Nothing good now come out of you. You never get a good job. You never find a good family. You never be able to provide. You never be able to travel. You never be able to achieve certain life goals. Them see them on the right you have. And they have other people they hold in high esteem. And them people they more while turn them back on them. But guess what? You when them right you off, you now have you now have a part for play for prove them wrong. It's your responsibility now. For prove them wrong. Me they get right after. And some of my closest family of them do it. Some of my closest family of them do it. And me did have something for prove. And that's why I go so hard because what? After proof to them say yo. One of them not call it doppy. We not dead no call it doppy. So no family members start call people doppy and they're not dead. And when they bounce back now, or when they resurrect them, because they say they are doppy, when they resurrect now, they have problem. You know why? They treat them bad. And when the pressure start lick them, when the people then start treat them the way they treat them, like what one of my classmates did say. So serve them a dose of them own medicine. Them can't manage. Because when you start to achieve now, when you bounce back now, when you suck down, when you buckle down, and you put in the work, and you start to achieve life goal, and them see them one now, I run and come, I stretch their hand. And when you, when, when you start dealing with them the way, them deal with them now, everybody have something bad for say, which a long time now I say bad things about you. But now who don't know you? I'm going to believe and say, yeah, you just so in turn. And them people them don't like people who just love interject. People where people uh, people wanna know nothing about you and your struggles. But then hear somebody say something and then come and they run with it. The man that we are talking about, the pilot, after 24 years, he became a pilot. That tell me something. That tell me something. That tell me same did have determination. Him did have guts. In this side, say yo, you have to become a pilot. And no matter what it take, you must become one. Say now nah, leave the hurt you and a turn one. Once a God will. And improve it. 24 years. You know how much people go to walk, go, walk on him. People go to spit on him. People go to step on him. People go to hungle him. Because some people when they're in a high class job, a sudden deal with people. They forgot the people are people. And then treat anybody. I want to treat anybody. Anyway. Them disgusting people. Them. You gotta have a way. For bounce back. So when you're up on the ground, you can't go no further than ground. When you're, so when you're up in the sky, when you're up in the sky, remember you know, if you're dropping up, you have to touch ground. You have to know how you deal with people. So for, for the people they will feel like say oh because them parents write them off and because them brother and sister write them off them them family member they write them off them for give up. Check out them on the story. Check out them on the story and how all it more you have because you know people used to sweep classroom and became teachers. How all it for people who used to take market shop become doctors and lawyers and nurses and other big professions you can do it but you need guts you need to be determined you need to know what you want 
set your goals them set your priorities straight and you shall you will hey i'm out big up on yourself up you know